Hey howdy hey partners, today I'm super excited because we're going to compare my movie accurate Woody with Thinkway Toys Toy Story Collection Woody. Let's get into it. Wish for the sky. You're watching Today I Grew Up. To infinity and beyond. In my opinion, these are the best Woodies you can ever have. Well, I'm biased because this is my custom that I made with the help of my friends. And this is the 2009 Cloud Pattern Collection Woody that's been adored in my collection since 2009. Many years now, but it still holds up today as the best Woody toy we've ever gotten officially from a toy company. And this is from Thinkway Toys. But oftentimes when I show people my custom Woody, they don't really understand all the details that went into this movie accurate Woody. It's all new. The stitching is fantastic. The fabric, everything is exactly the way we figure that the real Woody doll looks like. He is just amazing. Everything is exactly the way we figure that the real Woody doll looks like. So in the movie you can see that Andy handles movie accurate Woody and he looks like he's in toy mode because that's the way Andy saw Woody and so when I first saw that I wanted the one that Andy held in the film in toy mode but we never got a toy mode Woody we got in a live mode for the Toy Story 4 movie promotion in 2019 we did get the huggable plush head that looks like very close to the closed mouth smile look of Woody except his eyebrow was off and it wasn't straight and obviously the hairlines were missing it wasn't painted very well we had to go to the custom community to make dreams come true looking at the hats here you can tell that on thinkway toys it is a cotton thread stitching and custom here it is a custom leather cord and that is a huge difference in the movie we know woody didn't have cotton stitching on his hat we knew he had a more fine leather cord or polyvinyl stitching as Big Al says. Whatever the case, it's higher quality than just a, a cheaper cotton thread. Maybe it was a toy production issue, not sure. Another issue with the collection hat is that it has holes in the back. And here, this is a Metacom Woody hat. It's from a very expensive Woody toy from Japan. And this one is the best hat officially released. But these were hard to get, not everybody can buy these hats. But the collection one was more available, but it had the holes and that was a big flaw as well. So I think White Toys did good, but you can tell it's just a lot better when we got the Metacom hat with the vinyl stitching. Now disregard the height differences, that's because they have different stands, and we'll get into the stands later in this video. These are basically the same height. They are both cloud pattern height. Um, one just looks shorter right now because of the stand. So with Woody here, he's in a live mode. With the Seed Toys custom Woody head, he's in toy mode like Andy held him in the film. One thing I will uh, say, one thing I will say about Thinkway Toys is that they gave us movie accurate hairlines and it does look like the movie to me. On Seed Toys, I think the hair color uh, lines are a little bit too vibrant sometimes. I like the subtlety. It looked in the movie more like this subtle kind of line detail. I would have preferred this kind of line detail on the Seed Toys head, but it does look really polished like it's a Thinkway Toys head. So I'm not really complaining too much. But overall, I think Thinkway Toys delivers something that looks like Woody from the movie. The only problem is the Woody from the movie is in a live mode, and I want Andy's movie prop toy, which is in toy mode. So that is a huge difference between what we got from officially from Thinkway Toys versus a custom. And hopefully one day in the future with Toy Story 5 movie promotion, maybe a toy company will release a toy mode head like this, because that is the dream. Moving on to the vests. Now that is a very interesting discussion because these are both clad pattern from Thinkway Toys with the exception of this was a USA release which is not sewn to the body and the vest is kind of baggy and oversized on Woody. This vest looks tailored to Woody. It's shorter. We like the movie. It's also sewn on the body so it's not loose like this one. This only came with like one or two threads and then fell off right away. This one's sewn on and I feel like in the movie it does have that sewn on look. It just looks overall more movie accurate. This body is actually released only in Brazil and Mexico in the year 2009. Very short production run, disappeared forever. They're really hard to come by. And, you know, I was lucky enough to get a brand new version of it through the help of my friends in the Toy Story community. Otherwise, I wouldn't have it. But you can just see here overall, the vest is just too large and oversized. Not sewn, it's not short. It's a little too big. It looks like a clown vest compared to something nice, sleek, and tailored like we see on the cloud pattern from Mexico slash Brazil. 
for some reason, Thinkway Toys released the better vest in those countries for one year, and then they stopped making them. And then everybody started getting these oversized vests all over the place, from what I've seen anyways. So I will hand it to Thinkway Toys. They did make the perfect vest. Unfortunately, they made it in limited quantities and only in certain countries. <laughs> so very few people, unless you're in Mexico or Brazil or can acquire rare bodies like me, you most likely don't have this one. And it's from Thinkway Toys officially. So this is the one thing I could say Thinkway Toys did right. They did the vest correctly. And so far, that's what I would give Thinkway Toys 100% on because I didn't have to customize this on my custom Woody. It was already a perfect vest. Now, I will hand it to Thinkway Toys that the shirt color and the red lines, I don't ever have any issues with that. I think they did good on the coloring and the shirt detail. And I love the fabric. Thinkway Toys did really good. High quality, thick fabric. It does feel really fine quality. And actually on the Mexico and Brazil one, it feels thicker. It feels a lot thinner here on the USA edition. So again, the quality was better on these earlier production run dolls in 09 and in Mexico and Brazil, for some reason got better dolls. I feel like they're stitched better, they're high quality, and they spent more time and detail attention to like stitching and overall look at the aesthetic of the jeans, especially on this one over these. I think this one wins for sure. So I think Way Toys did great. It's just they did it so limited and that's unfortunate. Moving on to the badge, I think Way Toys gave us a very plain look, not really high detailed. It's faded over time, I noticed. I don't really, this is a display woody mainly, but you know, with time color fades happen, direct sunlight I'm sure at some point, I'm not really sure, but you know, I upgraded mine to the Seed Toys kit, which is a shiny metal badge. It actually has a real metal pin detail. I'm not gonna pull it all the way out, but you can see it has like some hot glue behind there and it's actual real metal stabbing into his body. Toy Story 4, we see Woody remove it to give it to Jesse at the end of the movie, and it is a metal pin, and that's how it is inserted on his vest. So I modified that myself from the Seed Toys kit. Originally it was a magnet, and I added a metal pin. Something I know that was probably unrealistic for Thinkway Toys to give us a metal pin, you know, they sewed it on with thread, which is fine. I just wish Thinkway Toys did it a little bit more of a texturized look, little shinier would have been nice like this one just to go a little bit over the top make it look a little more premium and since we're here let's talk about the buttons you can see here my European pearlized milk white buttons look really movie accurate and then these from Thinkway Toys are just a cheap plastic which understandable you can't get real metal and like pearlized detailing on a doll like this I feel like they would charge way more for something like that but it, it passes for me, but you know, Thinkway Toys could have done better. The bell buckle was always mystifying me, like Thinkway Toys did a wrong gold color. In the movie, it's a little bit more yellow. It's a very obvious yellow. So that's something I wish Thinkway Toys would have done a little bit better. And also, you can tell here, not a toy company, I used his holster and his belt looks like real leather because he's supposed to be a vintage cowboy. And I feel like the real leather look makes sense. Thinkway Toys gave us a more cheap looking plasticky belt and holster, but you know, they tried. One thing I don't understand that Thinkway Toys did was give us this fake looking ruby that looks like ketchup color. You know, they didn't even try to make it look like a ruby. I got this at a craft store, you know, in bulk, and I, I bought this ruby that looks kind of real, it's reflective in the light. These have to be really cheap to produce, um, these rubies, because if you buy them in bulk, they shouldn't cost too much. And I feel like the toy company could have done something. Metacom Woody was the closest company to give us something that looked like this custom right here on the left. And they did a ruby similar to this. So I just wish Thinkway Toys for their collector's edition, which this was marketed as a movie inspired replica prop, should have gone the extra mile with that and also give us the yellow around the holster detail more correctly than this off color gold which is not movie accurate in my opinion. Another thing I wish Thinkway Toys would have given us would be open hands. You know, at the end of Toy Story 3, when Woody waves goodbye to Andy, you can clearly see his hands are open like this. They're not cupped like that. So I guess this makes sense for a live mode when he's walking around alive. This would make sense for toy mode. So I really appreciate Seed Toys making a toy mode hand here. It looks really great. And something I wish Thinkway Toys would have given us for the hands. The Disney store gave us open hands, so I don't understand why we didn't get it from Thinkway Toys. I have zero complaints about the jeans. I think the denim looking jeans and feel, especially from the 2009 era, are the most accurate that you can get. And you know, sometimes the colors vary with fading. 
and stitching and all that. But overall, Thinkway Toys, every time I see a 2009 especially collection Woody, I really love the jeans. They did a really good job. They feel really thick, high premium quality fabric material. It feels like real denim jeans. And that's something I've always loved about the collection from Thinkway Toys. So Thinkway Toys so far have made the most perfect shirt and vest on this one and jeans. The boots are not the worst thing in the world. I did get Not A Toy Company's boots because he made the boots look more like leather to match the aesthetic of the belt and holster. You know, Thinkway Toys gave us this cheapy kind of brown color on the boots. It makes it honestly look a little bit cheap feeling. You know, the gold color is wrong. It should be yellow like this in the movie. Not a toy company went the extra mile and made the spurs move a little bit when he walked, which is some, something really cool and special. Although it's very fragile and you shouldn't play with this much because it could break. You know, Thinkway Toys just did a static spur sticking out, which is fine. I would at least prefer it on Thinkway Toys to at least paint it to look more like leather like this one. I customized Andy on the bottom of the boot for this one, but uh, I think Thinkway Toys left it blank so you can write your name, which I don't mind. I understand that, why toy companies do that, but you know, I'm going for Andy's toy, so I want Andy's name on the bottom of my boot. Wooden base with a metal wire, black wire like this, where it holds Woody in place on the stand under his arms like we saw in Toy Story 2 versus this star, you know, stand, which is like a cheapy plastic. It's not the worst thing in the world, but, you know, this looks more accurate. If I was in charge of Thinkway Toys, I'd figure out a way to make it like a plastic version of this to make it look a little bit more like Toy Story 2, but that's just me. Also, the pull string ring is movie accurate on mine. You can see it's the right shape, color, and size, white. This one is too thick and large. Definitely not like the movie. And uh, Thinkway Toys probably did that for safety reasons. I'm sure I'm not really, you know, I don't know the laws for toy making. One thing that bothered me though, is that Thinkway Toys could have gone the extra mile and put the hole a little bit higher because in the movie, the voice box string starts up here, not in the middle of the back. And they put it in the middle every time. I wish Thinkway Toys could have put it up just a tad higher. It would have looked a little more movie accurate. I have no issues with the bandana. I do like seed toys because it's a little more vibrant and red. Maybe it was like that on Thinkway toys, but this is so old now, it's maybe used to look like that. It's possible, but they, they're a tie. They're both great and I have no issues at all with the bandanas. And the best for last is we have a slow retract pull string that actually has Tom Hanks voice phrases from the movie. So that's awesome and it's slow retract Tom Hanks voice and one thing for last that I love is the swinging holster. The holster moves and swings with Woody when he moves just like the movie did and that's something that was modified to do that and it's one of my favorite hidden features about Woody. Another thing is he does have the head floppiness because his voice box isn't connected to a neck joint it's just a zip tie. You can really really move him around and he's like a true rag doll like the movie. So that's one thing I really love about my custom Woody that I wish Thinkway Toys could have integrated as well. For those of you who don't know, Jim Hanks, Tom Hanks' brother, voices this Woody doll. We already found out from Tom Hanks that he does not voice the Woody dolls. Pull string is not slow retract. It goes really fast and has Tom Hanks' brother's voice. So, you know, obviously the custom is miles better for that reason. But you know, overall, for an official toy, this is my favorite official Woody ever released. That'll probably never change unless one day Thinkway Toys were to release a toy mode like my custom one. Overall, these are the best Woodies that you can have in your Toy Story collection. The 2009 Cloud Pattern Woody is the most desired, next to a Mexico or Brazil Cloud Pattern, of course. And my custom Woody is, I'm very biased, this to me is the most movie accurate Woody you can ever have. He is part Thinkway Toys, you know. The body is Thinkway Toys, the jeans, the most of him, the base of him is Thinkway Toys, but 
with a lot of custom upgrades as you saw all the things that were changed to get woody to look like this from this is a huge leap and it took years of time and research lots of help from my friends and i never gave up and i worked hard and i dreamed big and i put my mind to it and that is how i was able to make impossible and impossible and make my woody dreams come true thank you to all those in the toy story community especially the custom community to make my dreams come true not a toy company you did great with the holster and the belt and the boots and the spurs and the belt buckle that i'm using here you know i like to thank my friend toy story now who inspired me about the pearlized buttons to begin with seed toys for the wonderful kit and upgrade that makes this woody looks amazing my friend nick d for the metacom woody hat hookup and also divine child for the voice box without him we wouldn't have a movie accurate voice box so there's a lot of people involved and i thank each and every one of you for your help and your hand in making my woody dreams come true here because i honestly can give this woody a rest i'm completely done with movie accurate woody now and i feel like this is the one that is the crown jewel woody of my collection and until disney releases something or think away toys in the future for toy story 5 this is going to always stay in my collection because i feel it is going to be best and it's going to be really hard to top this now that i'm looking at this movie accurate woody in front of me i don't know how that could be topped it's literally my dream and it looks perfect in my opinion and this is the best official release for now but it's a shame that you know it's from 2009 and people can't buy it anymore because they don't sell it in the store anymore especially now with the real denim jeans that's for sure as always partners thank you so much for watching liking and commenting on these videos it really helps support what i do here on youtube if you'd like to continue to support me on this journey all you have to do is hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell so you're alerted for future videos on this channel and i'll see you partners on the next video review you want the real buzz like you you're a, uh, you're an action figure you are a sad 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 strange little man you are a Sad, 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 strange little man. You are a child's plaything! Hey, Ham! Look! I'm Picasso! I don't get it.